here's the thing, chat. I really don't care about zombies. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, but I'll always give something, you know, the benefit of the doubt. I'll always give something my first try. All right. Uh, I don't know. Uh, zombies has always been like a fun little fodder game mode for me when it comes to Call of Duty games, but it's never been something that's been the main appeal for me. But uh, I completely understand why people love the zombies game mode. Uh, and just the history, the lore behind it, the Easter eggs, the challenge. I see why it appeals to so many people. It's just never quite been my cup of tea. But, because like, I've always been a campaign person, you know. But, you know, like I said, I'm always going to give everything a benefit of doubt. I'm going to get forced to play this game mode anyways when it comes out. Because my my friends always force me to play the zombies game mode with them. But, uh, we're still going to give it a shot. We're still going to give it a shot and see how this ends up turning out. So, uh, let's see how it goes, you know? See what they have to off look. Zombies. Who could have guessed that when the undead first appeared in Call of Duty World at War, it would lead us here to today? From that moment, zombies sparked a love for fighting the undead, bringing its unique DNA to the Call of Duty experience. Whether you're playing solo or co op, really going hard with these themed presentations, Easter man. Facing wave after wave of the undead delivers fast, fun action with just one objective survive. Black Ops Cold War sets the stage for a new zombies experience that not only celebrates our entire zombies heritage, but uses it as an inspiration to build a completely new chapter in our universe. Today, we cover the characters, the backstory, and weapons with members of the development team some of whom have quite literally helped to build it one zombie at a time. But first, let's check out the worldwide premiere of our new Zombies gameplay trailer. <laughs> the camera keeps going. Uh, these guys are quite the hoot with these cameras, man, and these little presentations. Sam, what have you done? Did you get the package? Watch it. Watch the tape. What the hell is that? The machine. It's happening again. Requiem actual strike team is on the ground. Investigate the site. Contain the threat. Roger. Moving. Get the power on. What was that? Sometimes I feel. Oh, so I gotta use the flashlights. Strike team, report. What the hell just happened? Take my tears out, that's not nearly. Let's go! Push up back! It doesn't look as cartoony, which I like. Oh, jeez. This engine, man, it, it looks iffy at best. Okay, so kill streaks, I guess they're uh, here. Interesting. Oh my god, he's about to do the Kamehameha, huh? Back the fuck off! You can't kill me! <laughs> After so many journeys, so many chapters, with Black Ops Cold War, we're starting fresh, embarking on a completely different story within our universe. We've got a new story led by different characters. We've got new ways to play, anchored by new ways of progressing. We've totally random, but I wonder if they bring it, bring it back uh, Sam Worthington to play uh, to open up a different chapter. Mason. It was our opportunity completely to random. elevate the entire zombies experience. It's a chapter we call 
the machine. As we set out to build something completely new, we were inspired to pay homage to zombies' undead roots to celebrate our origin with one of our most familiar and signature locations, Nach der Toten. We finished a story, but we're still in that same universe, and this is the next chapter. The, the very end of Black Ops 4, our characters sacrifice themselves to collapse the multiverse and try and create a singular world where zombies didn't exist. And they were half right. This is a Cold War story, and it will be driven by a diverse group of organizations and characters. Players are part of Requiem, a CIA-backed international response team led by Weaver, a Russian-American who will be familiar to Black Ops fans. By the time you arrive on the hunt for answers, the machina will have been ravaged by time. On the surface, you'll see a boarded-up bunker, but below the surface lies a nefarious set of decades-old secrets primed to upset the global order. The players will find themselves at odds with a team of Soviet-led rivals known as Omega Group, who are just as interested in studying and harnessing the power of the unexplained anomalies manifesting around the globe. Beyond these two warring groups, they'll encounter characters with unknown agendas who operate in the field, delivering insights and intel on this new world's fiction. The intel you receive and recover is a huge component of our storytelling in Cold War. And for the first time, an innovative new intel system will make content accessible on demand anytime. There's a lot to uncover that no one's ever seen before. I always get a little iffy when people say Whoa. intel systems. That normally means like, eh, let's get into we don't want to pay to make a cutscene, so let's... Hey, look, you found an audio tape. Congratulations. The pack a punch machine, power-up drops, the mystery box, along with the return of some of our classic perks. We've also taken a fresh eye to the core gameplay loop to let you drop in and have fun faster than ever. The gameplay is classic, but it's going to be tonally quite fresh. You'll find our updates this year have focused on one thing above all, embracing what makes zombies so much fun. That starts with progression. This year, we've unified progression and loadouts across all of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. That means wherever you play across multiplayer zombies, your global rank and weapons level stays connected. You'll be unlocking okay, that's good. weapons and equipment, score streaks that will be usable across the entirety of the game. No more starting with a pistol. Bring in your AR, your SMG, whatever you're feeling. And with all weapons boasting rarity with power levels, you can continue to increase your gun's damage potential however you choose. Every gun has a path to become an uber weapon. You'll have a lethal, tactical, and support slot. Not only can you craft, pick up, or find equipment and support in zombies, but you can now use them in combination, which delivers some insanely fun. That actually sounds pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Traditionally in zombies, the only way out was death. A new exfil system solves this. Ooh. Things get tense and the squad is in trouble. You have the option to exfil to a chopper and earn some rewards. But only if you can survive a few more rounds of zombie spawns dialed up to 11. This is shaping up to be our most epic zombies experience ever. Fair. For the first time, post-launch content is going to be free. As new maps come out, everyone's going to be able to come along for the journey as we take them through this storyline. Lastly, canon is canon. And we've put a story to rest, but as you comb through this new universe, don't be surprised if some things don't want to stay dead. This is the most connected and robust zombies experience in history. It also delivers a first for zombies, a fully cross-play experience with progression systems that tie zombies to the battle. I feel like whenever his eyes meet a camera, they always switch to a different camera. For the first time as well. Something. We're honored to have you with us on this journey. We're glad that you could join us for today's first look. I'm surprised they didn't have a camera in the back of his head, <laughs> rotating around with the other three that are on his other side. Hey, right, that was a neat little, uh, little first look right there. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty excited. Uh, it looks, uh, it looks actually pretty fun. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I think it looks good. I think the main thing that I just like about it is, uh, 
you're not starting off with a pistol you're just you're, you're getting into the action the the rewards and the progression to carry over uh i like being able to have an exfil system having a way to get out and not just end up uh dying that's uh that's pretty interesting it's just adding more layers to the zombies experience i do like that idea it's not just your same cut and dry walk running around these maps until you're on wave 40 and you're just like what are we doing around here like if you want to quit you can just, just quit by being able to try to make it out alive you know and get some rewards along the way so yeah i think it looks pretty good i think it looks pretty good that was actually that looks more fun than the multiplayer does right now after playing the alpha, I'm, I'm not too impressed with Black Ops Cold War. And I, I know people are saying, but Daniel, it's, it's just the alpha. It's supposed to be buggy and like bad. And I'm like, yeah, but do you really think it, that much is going to change? This is a demo. Betas aren't betas anymore. They're just demos nowadays for <laughs> your final product that you're only getting in two months. And within a month, your game has to essentially be finished and go gold, and then everything else is just patches. No, no, homie, no, homie, no, homie. I, uh, I don't have much faith in them being able to uh, do a good job and uh, uh, patching up a lot of the issues we found in that alpha before the game is released. But the zombies does look like a fun time. I know I, I, I sound like a pessimist, but that's just how modern games end up working nowadays. It's just, look, we put out the game in whatever state it's going to be in by a month before the game releases. Your game goes gold. You put it on disc and everything starts shitting out, shipping out, <laughs> shipping out. And it gets pressed and it's getting set out there and it is what it is and everything else. We just have to release a patch for uh, which is how you end up with games like Avengers that comes out completely, you know, unfinished, right? Uh and then having to get patched over and over again until it's actually in a playable state. So, I don't know. It's just, that is how games are made nowadays. So, I don't know, man. We'll see how it goes. But, Zombies looks good. 